For ages, a Rolex on your wrist meant more than luxury. It's a solid gold investment. With their iconic swagger and the hard-to-get-your-hands-on-one on one vibe, their resale value just keeps soaring. But why? In today's video, we're taking a close look at the Rolex market to uncover which models are unexpectedly dropping in value. We'll dive into the reasons behind these trends, explore the current market dynamics, and share insights that will be useful for both long-time enthusiasts and those thinking about their first Rolex purchase. Have you ever imagined owning a Rolex? This episode could really change your perspective on how to go about getting one. And hey, if you haven't joined our channel yet, what's stopping you? Hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop with all our latest updates. Now let's take a closer look at the Rolex market as of May 2024. Recently, Rolex rolled out some shiny new models and said goodbye to a few classics, naturally causing some ripples in market prices. To get a handle on things, let's rewind and check out the price trends over the past few years. Remember March 2022. Trying to buy many Rolex models at retail prices from authorized dealers was like finding a needle in a haystack. High demand and low supply sent market prices soaring above retail. But here's a fun twist. Since that high point, prices have started to settle back down to their pre-pandemic levels. Meanwhile, the price tags on new Rolexes at authorized dealers have been quietly climbing each year. This means the gap between retail and market prices is getting snugger, making it a rare sight for models to trade for more than what's on their price tag. As we sift through the current movements in the Rolex market, a few patterns have caught our eye. For starters, those flashy solid gold pieces are now fetching some surprisingly sweet deals, significant discounts in fact. Moving over to the steel and gold models, it turns out they're often tagged below their official list prices. Meanwhile, the steel professional models are still riding high above retail, depending on how much hype they're generating among enthusiasts. It's pretty steady as she goes in terms of monthly price shifts. We're not seeing any dramatic changes. But here's the scoop. Prices are bouncing around a bit, showing that buyers are really on the lookout for solid deals. Number 1. Rolex GMT Let's start with the Rolex GMT Root Beer model. It's been a hot ticket in the luxury watch scene. Right now, it's hovering close to its list price of $14,300. So if you're not one to wait in line, you might snag one just a tad over retail. Moving on to the Guinness, a stunning blend of steel and yellow gold on a Jubilee bracelet with a black and grey bezel, it's now fetching around $15,000 on the market, just slightly above its $14,600 list price. But the Guinness is often touted as one of the slickest GMT Master II out there, currently edging out the newer all-steel versions in popularity. Now for the Sprite and Pepsi models, these were pretty rare finds before the Watches and Wonders event, they're still in production, which has led to more sellers jumping into the market, not wanting to gamble on waiting until 2025 to see if they get discontinued. This rush has nudged prices down by about $1,000 to $2,000, depending on the specifics like bracelet type and age. It's interesting to note that the GMT Sprite is traded more often than the GMT Pepsi, with many opting to stash the Sprite in their collection rather than actually wear it. Diving deeper, the steel and gold submariners, both the blue and black versions, are now selling at discounts. While the blue model is slightly outperforming the black, both are dipping below their $13,750 list price. And not to forget the Batman or Batgirl models in the GMT category, they're holding steady with prices ranging from $13,000 to $14,000, continuing to be popular among both buyers and sellers. With the recent buzz around the steel GRNR, dubbed the Bruce Wayne by watch enthusiasts, there's been a spike in interest for the older full black bezel GMT, the 116710LN. This model, which ran from 2007 to 2019, is currently a grab at around $12,269.91. Quite the catch for those looking to dive into a bit of horological history. Number 2. Rolex Explorer 1. The Explorer 1 is getting a lot of action these days, especially the 40mm model, which is nearing its retail price on the market. There's a tug-of-war between sizes, 
While the purists lean towards the 36mm for its vintage charm, it's the larger 40mm that's catching more eyes and wallets in the market, probably because its beefier size fetches a beefier price. Before we go further, why not become part of the opulent Oasis tribe? Subscribe and get the latest content first. Let's dive back in. Number 3. Rolex Explorer 2. Switching gears to the Explorer 2, it's a good time to talk shop if you're eyeing this model. Right now they're going at retail prices straight from authorized dealers, no premiums added. Between the two dial options, the white dial is still the front runner, outpacing the black. If this watch is on your radar and patience isn't your strongest suit, you're in luck. You can grab it now at a fair price, no waiting necessary. Number 4. Rolex Day Date 40. The rose gold olive dial Day Date 40 is here to stay. It wasn't discontinued, and its market price is gradually aligning with its retail price. If you're considering adding one to your collection this year, it might be the perfect time to make a move. Meanwhile, the yellow gold model with the green dial is turning heads and topping demand charts. Its market price has relaxed slightly to around $45,000 which, while still above its $33,800 list price, is edging towards a more accessible range. On the other hand, when we talk about value, let's not breeze past the Roman numeral champagne dial day date. It's a classic through and through, doesn't try to steal the spotlight like the flashier models, but definitely holds its ground in terms of elegance and worth. If you're navigating the day date lineup, seeking a blend of traditional charm and solid value, this watch might just be your jackpot. Now, let's shift focus and check out some watches whose prices have been steady over the past month. Number 5. Rolex Date Just 41. The Date Just 41, particularly with its mint and Wimbledon dials, continues to capture attention, largely because you can easily find them brand new. Recently, we've noticed quite a few two tone models selling for less than their listed prices. This makes them an attractive option for those who appreciate the combination of steel and gold but don't want to splurge too much. Additionally, there's a timeless charm to the classic white or black dial models in steel. Although less flashy than their counterparts, these watches offer understated elegance at a more accessible price point, making them a solid choice for those who value both style and substance. Regarding the Submariner, the date model seems to be the life of the party in the buy and sell scene, drawing more attention than the no-date version. We're quite fond of the clean lines and symmetry of the no-date Submariner, but it looks like the crowd prefers a date with the date version. As for the Starbucks model, it's fetching a premium thanks to its rarity. Number 6. Rolex Oyster Perpetual When it comes to the Oyster Perpetual, it's all about colour and choice. The green dial version is a hit among collectors who have a few Rolexes to their name as it adds a vibrant splash to their collection. On the other side, the celebration dial doesn't quite catch the buyer's eye despite its market price hovering around $19,302. It seems more people are betting on its future value than actually wanting to wear it. Getting your hands on any Oyster Perpetual from an authorized dealer can be a challenge, especially if you're not looking for the celebration dial. If you're not up for a long wait, paying a bit over the odds in the secondary market might just be worth it. It's likely that production numbers for the Oyster Perpetual are on the lower side, as Rolex tends to focus more on their higher margin models. Number 7. Rolex Daytona Shifting our focus to the Daytona, the new 126 reference models in steel are definitely causing a stir. The white dial version is currently trading at about $36,250, while the black dial variant is a tad more approachable at around $31,250. This increasing price difference hints that white dials are becoming a rare sight. For those who appreciate a mix of metals, the Daytona with a black dial remains a solid choice, priced at about $23,750, a real sweet spot for fans of steel and gold combinations. Notably, the Daytona models sporting Oyster Flex bracelets are holding their value impressively, even outshining some of the more luxurious metal options in Rolex's lineup. And we can't overlook the classics from the 116 reference series, 
the white gold ghost and the yellow gold Pikachu continue to be particularly cherished. The ghost, with its more attractive price point, remains a favorite, proving to be a temptingly affordable option compared to its newer relatives. Now, even if some Rolex models aren't climbing the value ladder, they're still top-notch timepieces. This trend could be your ticket to snagging a genuine Rolex without that hefty price tag. By getting the lowdown on which models are taking a dip, you can shop smarter. Whether you're eyeing an investment or just have a soft spot for expert craftsmanship, Rolex has a lineup that caters to all tastes. What do you think about what we've shared today? If this video hit the mark for you, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and a thumbs up would be much appreciated. Don't forget to follow our channel for more insights. Thanks for tuning in to Opulent Oasis. Stick around for more watch wisdom coming your way in our future episodes.